<sighs> I know it's so depressing, but we have to talk about it because I'm a big Superman fan and they just released a still picture of the new Superman and these are my thoughts when it comes to it. Ever since I was five years old, I used to imagine myself being Superman. I know this is a weird thing, but when I was younger, I thought like I could become Superman. Like, like I felt it in my body, like I am Superman, right? So I connected with the character. Uh, the thing which I find so interesting about Superman is that he is the world's most powerful being, right? But he's a mundane guy. He goes through things just like we all go through things. And that's what I find so fascinating about the character. My favorite Superman story is when he goes out and he tries to change the world. Nothing is really happening in Metropolis. And he doesn't have any super villains to fight. So Superman starts thinking to himself, you know what I should do? I should try to help out. I should try to help the world. I should try to solve some of these like huge problems that we have in the world. So he travels the world and he starts to see how a lot of people have it in third world countries. He tries giving all these countries food and he tries to give them some kind of like structure, but he's fighting against other people, right? Or he's fighting against human nature and what he figures out in the comic is just the fact that no matter how hard he tries, he's never going to be able to solve the biggest problem that we have on earth. And that's that humans can be horrible to each other. And so he decides to become a reporter so he can help in a way. I don't know. There's, there's something interesting about that. So as I was looking at this new cover art of the James Gunn Superman I first thought to myself that this shit is just gonna be garbage and it's like it's what I expected and it's like James Gunn's not even trying and this is the problem which I have with people which I don't think are DC fans because if I were to direct a movie like that, a Superman movie, I would make it the greatest Superman movie ever. And not only that, I would have people around me which are DC fans. We can go through the material and we can actually try to figure out what would be cool and what like, at least have a board of 10 people, right? Coming with certain advice. But I'll just gather a lot of Superman fans and just like, okay, what do you guys want to see? What is it? What, what do you guys identify with this character? And why is it so important? Like, try to figure that out. Because I feel, honestly, like, the people which get in, they don't understand. They don't understand DC. And that's why we have had so big problems with the DC cinematic universe. Because they just don't get these characters. And I find it very sad because I grew up on these characters. And certain days which I would be at home, certain days which I would be lonely, I could pick up my comic book and just read it or watch a movie. Like, I could escape. But, uh, yeah, my honest, honest review of the picture is that I think I think this movie is gonna suck I think it's gonna be really really horrible and I'm going to have to wait at least maybe 20 more years I think in the future probably somebody's gonna come in and they're gonna create something very interesting or AI technology is gonna become really really good and we'll be able to make like these small little trailers and whichever trailer gets the most views on YouTube, then the studio is going to try to build a script around it. But that's what I think at least. Um, I have no confidence, no confidence whatsoever when it comes to James Gunn and what he is creating. 
in the DC cinematic universe. I, I just, ah, man. And no, I'm not, I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to give it a shot. I just, I can say it right now. I can call it right now. That shit is going to be trash and it's going to be garbage. I was just thinking like the other day, right? If I were to create a Superman movie, how would it look like? My Superman movie would be an action movie between Superman and Batman, okay? So it would start off like this. Superman is going to, what are those uh, like? Like there's this huge like, like kind of like we're, we're getting our energy from this like huge machine, right? And what scientists have figured out is that Superman, because Superman has like a solar flare and he can like max out his energy and then he loses his superpowers for like at least what, two, three weeks. So he does this, let's say once a year and he gives the world energy for at least five years, like when he does this solar flare, right? So it's a scene of Superman flying down to that place. There are a lot of scientists monitoring his like, they're monitoring his heart, they're monitoring, they're monitoring everything on Superman's body, right? They say he's fine, they say he's at, let's say 100% power level, right? And then they explain a little bit, okay, you need to do this, you need to do that. And then Superman is like, yes, I've done it before, I know, like it's, it's, certain procedure which you have to go through so his best friend which is played by yeah let's have dave chappelle in that role so dave chappelle is like a scientist but he's also like superman's friend he's talking to him and he's like okay you need to do this you need to i don't know like shoot your laser at approximately this point and then you need to like there's certain power level things that he needs to do in order to empty himself out right so they're having somewhat of a banter he's like how is it going with the wife at home it's going pretty good you know superman is superman he's the greatest hero on earth people love him so he goes into this machine and then he empties his superpowers right and you can see like light bulbs exploding in this like facility and People are talking about like now we got power for at least three years the whole world is like supercharged with electricity people are super happy we'll be able to use this energy to travel in space and and all of that right people are like applauding and they're so happy and they're in love with superman and all of that right so now superman has lost his powers and he is sitting around doctors doctors are monitoring him they're like okay you're fine you need to charge up it's going to take you at least two more weeks so you can't be you know you got to be super careful because you're like super vulnerable right now and we're going to escort you to the safe house because he has like this safe house where his family is at and when he loses like his superpowers that is when he can procreate with Lois and he can he becomes like a human being and that is what I find very fascinating now he's there Batman arrives because this is like something which they do every every year they do this Batman arrives they're sitting they're talking talking about the family they're joking around they're they're really good friends right now and everything is going as it's supposed to now they're about to head off and superman starts noticing something something weird and he's like aren't they like five security guards or like he, he asks a question right like and they're like no you're gonna be safe we're gonna transport you in these like i don't know five cars he's moving around like the american president so they set him in these cars right and then you have to take superman from a to b now there are these like thugs gangsters which every time superman does this they've been cataloging it and 
because they they see an opportunity right now right we can't attack him when he is at his highest power level then he's a god but what we can do is right now that superman is at his weakest now we can attack so as they're traveling through this place they get ambushed by this i'm talking about like so many thugs you got the penguin you got all these like super villains and they're they're trying to take superman out right and so it's it's almost like a get superman from one position to another position crazy things are happening batman is in the movie like because superman is a human being right he's he's at his most vulnerable state and he's going to be there for at least two to maybe three weeks and they need to keep superman alive until he gets his powers back right so that is the first movie which i would make about superman and in this movie i wanted to see like batman not only just like what is it like i want to see the friendship between batman and superman I'd want to see maybe something happen to Superman's loved ones because they want to attack him. But then again, I would also want to see Superman in action. But not in action like he's flying around and doing all. No, like Batman and Superman, Kung Fu fighting, beating these like villains. And they're, they're going to town, but they're using their brain power. They're using strategy. They're trying to get from point A to point B. And they're just trying to survive and that is what i want to see like in the like in a superman movie and it would have been perfect to, to watch henry cavill and ben affleck do a movie like this where they're just literally ben affleck is just going to town because he's huge it's like he's this very big batman but they're not running around with capes and all that it's like literally two guys very powerful guys very they're in like they're super strong but then again they are just going to town on these bad guys and tactically playing chess with them and trying to survive it could be a day it could be two weeks it could be like get superman out of this very very difficult situation so things are happening in my movie and that is that is what i would want to create and that is what I would find very interesting if I was creating a S Superman movie. But then again, I don't think that they're going to go that route when it comes to the new Superman movie. I think they're just going to, for some reason, continue just to make some garbage. I saw the suit, the new suit, the new Superman, and I'm just like... There's nothing interesting about it. But then again, guys, that could just be me. I maybe don't know what I'm talking about. I may be just a guy on the internet. But anyway, guys, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>